Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me, even though I'm not really going anywhere after I film this. And I'm going to attempt to do a Halo Eye, but it's probably not going to actually be a Halo Eye, it's going to be my sad attempt at a Halo Eye. It is 12 in the afternoon and I still haven't eaten. I'm going to eat during this video, so I hope you guys don't mind. I'm literally going to have water, a smoothie, and a snack. And that's going to be my lunch. Anyway, yeah. Without further ado, let's get started. First, we're going to put back the hair. Even though I have a headband, but like, you see all this hair? I gotta like, keep it pushed back. But pulled over. And, ooh, look. If you guys saw me, I mean, it, if you guys saw my comment, um, my pinned comment, on my last video, which was my my current phase playlist, you guys should go watch that. Um, I put a comment on how I disappeared for a month because mentally I was just not in a good place. So I didn't want to post videos when I was just not feeling like myself. I'm putting on the Nature Republic Soothing Moisture Aloe Vera Gel right now. Uh, because it's a good summer moisturizer. Because, like, it's not too much. Because, like, where I live, it gets really humid during the summer. So, yeah. That's kind of why I disappeared. But I'm back. And I'm not going to start back to school videos until, like, August. Because, like, I don't go back to school until September. So. Which is a first. If I was going to go outside, which I probably... Will not. Actually, I have to work out. But I'm not going to work out in makeup. But let's say I was going outside with this makeup, I would put on the face conditioning cream from Etsy House because it has SPF 25. But I'm not going outside. I'm probably going to wash this makeup off in like a couple hours. So I'm not going to put that on, but I'm going to put on primer. I'm going to put on... Actually, no. First, I'm going to put on the Mario Badescu facial, facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose water this is amazing i love it and i'm probably gonna get it in the bigger size next time i got it in the smaller size because i didn't know if i was gonna love it but i love it and i'm a fan i am a fan and i bought this because so many beauty gurus were talking about i was like i have to get my hands on it and it is kimberly approved so you should get it yes my smoothie is in this huge thing don't judge <laughs> then i'm gonna put vaseline on my lips it's the perfect lip balm and i let my lips soak that in while i do the rest of my makeup so you know um now i'm going to apply primer and i'm going to put on the elf hydrating face primer this is actually pretty good i've noticed that my makeup stays on a little longer now that I have this primer. So for a drugstore primer, uh, highly recommend. Highly recommend. So I'm gonna be a junior, which is insane because I was literally a freshman last week. I don't know how this happened. I, um, I think I'm gonna go back to being a fifth grader because um, I'm excited to start thinking about college and really like even though I really want to get out of high school because like <laughs> I'm kind of over it um don't want to go to college like I don't even know like where I want to go like I know what I want to study but like I don't even know what schools I want to go to I want to do pharmacy but like I don't know like I guys I'm I'm shook. I don't know what to do. I mean, I can't even start applying to college until like the summer of next year. I got some time. I have some time. <laughs> I have a year. Which is a little scary. So now I have primer on. And I'm going to apply more primer because I have problem areas. So I'm going to take the baby skin primer from Maybelline and put that on the corner of my nose underneath my eyes and my, the corner of my lips because those, that, those are the areas where my um, foundation tends to 
crack. And I'm not a fan. So I'm trying to prevent that. Things I love doing to check it ready with me is like I love watching them, but like I never know what to talk about. This summer, I don't know what I'm doing um, other than like basketball workouts. Like that's the only thing I have planned for the summer because um, basketball season starts in November. So, you know, we have workout with our new varsity coach. So that's true because I was moved up to varsity. So, but, um,. Do you guys want me to do like basketball videos? Because I was thinking about it, but like I don't know if any of you would watch. If you're into that, let me know because I would love to do that. Also, I have springs in my mouth. Like, so basically, I have braces, if you couldn't tell. And you know, you normally get rubber bands. Like, if you've had braces before, you know, like, you get rubber bands. The rubber bands were not effective enough for my jaw. And I tried telling him, like, my orthodontist this, but he just wouldn't listen. So now, I have springs in my mouth because they're supposed to be more high duty and they're supposed to be able to push my jaw forward more because I have an overbite. So they're trying to, like, push this, my bottom jaw forward, I guess. I don't know what they're trying to do, but I just want these off. I'm over. I'm over this whole bracelet situation. I've had them since the seventh grade. I'm like, I'm over it. I'm over it. Um, but back to summer plans. I have like a summer summer goal list, I guess. So first goal is to lose at least 20 pounds because I'm trying to be really fit this summer. That's why I'm drinking a smoothie for breakfast slash lunch, which means I'm kind of starving myself. <laughs> It's, I woke up really late this morning, so like I kind of already missed breakfast either way. Then, um, work out at least three to four times a week, upload at least once a week, and get my summer homework done before August. And I'm gonna start next week, starting to do it next week, because I got out June 16th. And like, my dad tells us to like give ourselves like two weeks, a two week break, um, off of school, and then we have to start getting into our summer homework. So, I'm going to start my summer work next week, which is going to be July. And then I'm going to try and finish it in the month of July. So that way I have the month of August to myself. And the first bit of September to myself. So, that's the plan. We'll see how that goes. What am I putting on now? Foundation. Foundation plus BB cream. Because I don't really wear foundation. But one of the things I use is technically foundation. So... I'm going to put on the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Oil Free Foundation in 320, which is the shade Soft Sable. And then I'm going to put on the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream in Deep. And it's a sheer tint, so I put these two together. We're going to do that. And I've been talking for 20 minutes, and I, I mean 10 minutes, and I haven't put on... I'm literally not even at the eyes yet. And this is why I don't do chit chat ready with me, because it takes forever. So I dotted on my face. You guys have seen me apply foundation slash BB cream a lot, but like if you're new here, I'm going to explain to you how I do this. So I put the two because they're, this is too dark, and then the Maybelline BB cream is too light because it's the darkest shade, but it's still too light because beauty companies don't know what the heck deep means. This is literally like, I wouldn't call this deep. But it's not like tan. I don't know what to describe this color as, but it's definitely not deep. That's what I can tell you. This is more like caramel than deep. I don't know what Maybelline was thinking, but you know. Can't really be that surprised. So I'm going to apply that all over my face with a sponge because I love sponges. And I don't have a beauty blender because... I really, I can't justify spending $20 on a sponge. I might get the Real Technique sponge because I heard that was like a good inexpensive sponge. So, you yeah, know, I might get that. I'm going to put on some music, but very quietly because I'm not trying to get copyrighted, you feel? Now, on to concealer, which is very light for my skin, but like that's the point. You don't want a concealer that's like 
your shame shade um unless like you only wear concealer because you want to brighten up your face you don't want it to look too dimensional you want to like add some shadows add some highlights you know also if you guys didn't know i'm forgetting my vocabulary because i know too many languages <laughs> and i forget other languages along the way you know what i really want i want a new camera like in the short term what i really want is a new camera but in the long term which is also kind of a short term as well for like a graduation gift for senior year <laughs> i want to go to whole like oahu i don't know if that will happen but i really want it to that would be nice but like with a short short term i think i'm getting a new camera in september because this has like it's done its job it's this camera, the Canon EOS Rebel T3, is a really good camera for taking pictures. However, it's not a video camera. So, the quality of my videos, I realized, because of all the YouTubers I watch, like, their quality looks really good, and then my quality looks like trash, and I'm just like... I also want like a better camera for photography as well because like I'm the family photo taker so like I kind of have to be good at, like I kind of need a good good equipment like my tripod's good it has good lighting my macbook is still in really good condition I just need a new camera so we'll see hopefully that happens Okay, now it's time to bake, and I need to like start speeding up because this is not okay. I'm, I've been talking for too long. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. high definition powder. I know this is not baking powder, but like, I'm cheap, so, and I'm also broke. So, like, I don't have money to buy like, like the Laura Mercier powder. And my parents are Kenyan and see no point and buying like a twenty dollar powder, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work with what I'm I'm able to get my hands on. I do my eyebrows last so I can focus more on my eyes. So and my brush fell one sec. Eyes. So I'm going to do like a pink ish halo eye. Don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna try. So first we have to prime the eyelids. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. eyelid primer, which I've had for a very long time, but it still does the job, so. It's only $1, and for a $1 eyeshadow primer, it, it gets the job done. And then I'm gonna put on the NYX um, eye pencil in milk. Remember when this was like a huge thing in the beauty community? like. If you didn't have this and you were a beauty guru, it was like, what are you doing? You need to have this if you're a beauty guru. I also want to attempt to learn how to do a cut crease. I put way too much. Well, I'm going to practice it off camera and then I'll film a cut crease tutorial. Also, I'm going to start filming more of my um, K-pop album inspired makeup looks. I kind of stopped doing them. And I think I'm going to do Twice's Signal next. So, you know. Um, I also need another boy group though, so like, if you could be, I'll probably do EXO's album, because EXO's coming back in July, I mean, I was like excited, and so, and I heard BTS was having a comeback, and I'm just like, <gasps> there's so many comebacks. Summer is like the prime time for comebacks, but like, it gets very competitive, and I feel really bad. Cause like, I feel like during the summertime, that's when you see the most ugly for most fandoms, which is really sad. But now I'm going to add a blending shade. So since I'm doing pink, I'm gonna add like a pink blending shade because it just makes the most sense. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like coral, but it leans more towards the pink side. I'm also adding this shade because the NYX eye pencil is very sticky. So, I need to make sure that the eyeshadow doesn't stick too much. Oh, I should zoom in. I'm done. Sorry. 
I kind of did this similar look in the playlist video. My current fave music. Um, so, it might look a little familiar, but... Also, you know what another goal of mine this summer is? To make friends that are not from my school. And that's another goal. To like, try and make more friends. Because I'm a very introverted person. Um, I seem very extroverted on my like, camera. Oh, the sun's going away. Great. In reality, I'm very introverted and very shy. And I have social anxiety, so... It would be very nice to like make more friends i also need to get more brushes because this is not okay so i'm gonna take this shade right here this pink right here i think that's what i used we're gonna use that on a pencil brush and add it. oh that is i don't think this is the pink i used hmm we're just gonna use it we're gonna go with it because i can't figure out which color i use i'm gonna tell you this is gonna be a pink look i don't know i used to hate pink when i was younger but now i embrace the color pink this is a a sad tteokbokki snack i know it's a weird combination but this is actually pretty good yeah this was in the house i don't know why and i really want honey butter chips but like I'm trying to lose weight so I can't get them and I'm a little sad. I don't even think this is what tteokbokki tastes like, but I haven't had tteokbokki before. I'm going to put it in the crease. Which, the crease is just a problem area for me because I have hooded eyes. So, my crease kind of disappears. Or it's just not, it's not an easy area put makeup also my new like catchphrase i guess is yikes that's literally all i say yikes and then you have to leave the space blank um towards the middle of your lid because that's where you're gonna pop in a glittery shade but i don't have glitter so i'm gonna have to use a shimmery shade okay this is very pink <laughs> it went very pink very quickly but gotta work with it we're gonna come back to the palette, um, but I'm gonna take the Pony palette and I'm gonna use Fair. I'm gonna use Glam Fair Orange, which is this shade right here, and I'm gonna pop that in the center of my lid. That's also why I have bake under my eye to catch fallout. Cause this. So you wanna focus it on the area where you left the lid blank, but you also wanna blend it, like, like taper it out a little bit to the sides but not too much again this is probably not how you correctly do a halo eye but this is my version of a halo eye because i am not a makeup artist so this is just the beauty lover 1900s halo eye version of a halo eye i also recommend using a stiff brush Another reason why having a having glitter light lids is a little bit of an issue. By the end of this video, I'm gonna have glitter like above my crease because put it eye go. Okay, now I'm going to put um a shadow on my lower lash line because I'm extra. I'm gonna take this like plum color. And put that on my lower lash line. But you you would think it wouldn't work that well, but it works pretty well actually. Like it looks pretty good. It adds like a sort of smokiness to the look without adding too much pink. Then I'm gonna go back into the pony palette and I'm gonna take shine orange brown, this shade right here, and apply that in my inner corner. The perfect um, inner corner highlight if you have, um, a darker skin tone. I'm gonna just fix up here, but I'll do that later. I'll probably just add brown eyeshadow, but I'll add that later. Because, we have to do eyeliner now. Like, it's a must. So I'm gonna take the Super Skinny Eye Marker by NYX in Carbon Black. It's 
pretty good eyeliner. And I'm gonna put it on here. And I'm gonna try and be with thin line, but knowing me, it's probably gonna be very thin. What did I say? <laughs> it ended up being very thick. So, well, I mean, that's as symmetrical as it's gonna get. This actually didn't turn out that bad. I'm very pleased with this makeup look. I thought I thought it was gonna turn out horrible. I'm gonna put on a lot of mascara. Like right now. I'm gonna take the Holy Go Holy Go Magic Pole Mascara. One day, I will learn how to put on false eyelashes. But that day is not today because I don't have time to like mess up my eyelashes. Now I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. I'm going to use the ELF um, eyebrow kit in dark and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm going to highlight and put on my lip color. And I'm kind of having a bad hair day, I mean eyebrow day. So like, just ignore that and we'll be good. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. palette, contour palette, which literally isn't a contour palette for me, but I use the yellow shade as a brow bone highlight base because then I add actual highlighter on my brow bone. But yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to use a highlighter that like I made myself. So I don't really have a brand for it. I think I mixed two e.l.f. eyeshadows together to make this like highlight shade. Cause again, I'm broke and I don't have money to buy like an Anastasia uh, highlight kit. So we're gonna just use our own. So I'm gonna put it on my nose. So that's my favorite place to highlight, honestly. See that highlight? Like, see how that instantly changes my face? Then my cupid's bow, and then my cheekbone, kind of. I'll blend it out, it looks like a stripe. I know, I'll fix it. And then you blend. And then I add some to my brow bone. And now for the lips, I'm gonna put a pink lip on. So I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna take the Nature Public um, By Flower Tint mm -hmm. Lip Balm in Peach because it has Tanya's face on it and Tanya's my bias. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. So it tints your lips, but it's also like a lip gloss. It adds that right amount of color. And after an hour of filming, I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I kind of stopped talking halfway through. I'm sorry. I always tend to do this. I should just do a chatty makeup look, but like I can't talk that much. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my attempt at a halo eye. I really don't think this is a halo eye, but I really tried. And next time I'm going to try and add fake eyelashes, but I, I'm not good at fake eyelashes yet, so I'm not trying to put those on right now. But yeah, I do KBD, regular beauty, fashion, K-pop, and random videos. If you enjoyed those types of videos, please hit the subscribe button down below so you can see more videos from yours truly. Also, hit that bell button next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video and you won't miss an upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies!